Hey everybody, welcome. In this video, we are going to talk about processes in Linux. So the processes carry out tasks within operating system. So you can think of a process as a computer program in action. All right. So uh, what if you want to, uh, you know, see or check uh, what are the processes that are like going on? So you write here PS, you hit enter. And right here, you can see uh that uh, we have a list of the processes which are like going on so the pid is basically uh, nothing but a unique process id uh, that is given to the process so it is uh, you know uh, it is ideal to de define and identify um, a process or anything any entity by the id number okay because uh, this cannot be duplicated or anything, you know, so it is very easy. So that's why the a, a unique, a specific ID is given to a process. So right now here you can see this is the process ID. So um, TTY is basically the terminal from where it is running. And this time is the CPU time that it has taken uh to run the process or complete the process and cmd is the basic name of the process okay so right now uh, two processes are running one is my uh, screen recording and one is the terminal itself so you can ask that why do we even care about uh, processes or about knowing these process processes so sometime we ought to run processes in the background and sometime we want to control manually the list of the processes and what tasks they they can perform okay so ls which is a command that you usually write to get the list of the files in a folder uh, is basically a process as well and it doesn't take much time the execution time it will almost it will almost be uh, zero it would be instant right so it would be like a fraction of a second you know small fraction of a second okay so what do, what does it display it displays the hour the minute and the second so obviously it is a fraction of a second and uh, you know here we we don't have that unit right so it displays you like zero 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 all right so let's run an example and let's see uh, that how can we actually check out the processes and uh, run them so right here uh, if we run a process named as let's say x logo we hit enter and you can see that uh, this is a process it takes a lot of time here and we cannot run anything right here okay so in order to write anything we have to press ctrl c and when we press ctrl c you can see that that x logo window uh, goes away okay so what we can do that we can actually uh, control this process manually and we can shift it um, into the background okay so in order to shift this process into the background what we can do is that we can write here x logo and uh, space and then we can similar uh, simply write here an ampersand sign and when we hit enter you can see that now this process is running in the background okay so this is essentially the job uh, the, the uh, process id and this is the job id that you can see here so in background there is one process running and it is essentially the x logo and its job id is one so if we if we would have like you know other processes running in the background then their job id would be like two and then their process id you know would be something else okay so i hope you have learned something new in this video this is the linux training course and i will see you in the next video